This is Sparta! Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we're back in the grind pushing to get our third mark of excellence on the M55 Tornado. First match of the day and we get Mountain Pass and we spawn in the south. That's going to end up being a good match. I guarantee it, right? I love this map. I love spawning in the south specifically on this map. So hopefully we can make something happen. So right off the bat, I'm going to go back to my spot at K0. I'm going to get there as quickly as possible and then zoom in and try to aim across the map and see if we can't catch anybody going across. Right here next to this rock is my, my fallback point. This is where I get to, I fire from here, and I generally have not been uh, counter-batteried all the way back here. Um, plus, it allows me, if somebody does get into the base, to have that extra buffer. They don't see me immediately, and I can get a shot off usually before they see me. Uh, we look straight ahead. You see, I'm actually looking into the pass to see if we catch somebody that's just going across. Unfortunately, nobody's being spotted. Except a leopard here in a second. Hello, leopard. How are you doing? This other guy's like... I. Uh, by the way, I met some awesome guys in here. One of them is the Artie uh, in his platoon, the, the guys. Uh, at least one of them knew who I was after uh, the game was over, um, which is awesome. I love meeting Focus you guys. So uh, you see, I'm, I'm kind of giving a little bit of a look-see, uh, but the Artie on our team, the one that I was just saying uh, or talking about, he is actually telling him, I've got no shot on the leopard. And I'm like, I do. But I, I wasn't talking at the time. I'm just sitting there, shot out. Pow! <laughs> Almost full health to no health in one second flat. And all of them are losing their mind right now. They're like, well, that was a nice shot, Artie. <laughs> Mike, thanks. And that's when I start talking. You'll see my name start, start up. It's like, eh, you know. I always give it a little bit of time. Uh, I wanted to take the shot there. Um, but now I'm looking towards the right. I'm going to start engaging these guys, trying to push them back, helping the right side, because if we lose this side, I'm going to be in a world of trouble. AMX 50 shot out, just behind him, and pow, 877, we set him on fire, he puts the fire out and backs up, he can't get out of there quick enough, bumping into the rock and everything. T10, you're begging for it next. I don't mind sitting here and just absolutely obliterating you guys slowly and surely. What do we got? T-10's making himself, the E-100's making himself a target. E-100's easiest to hit and wait for it, shot out. Pow! We don't know how much we hit him, but we definitely hit him. And it's probably right around 500. The other already takes a shot, but apparently he moved between me hitting him and the other, other guy shooting at him. And you'll see he gets spotted all the way up here again. I'm almost loaded, so we're going to rinse and repeat and do it all over again. Get ready. Here comes another one. And shot out. Fire. Pow! 909 this time. That was a much better hit. He turned broadside on for us. He's lucky to be alive, to be honest. Uh, and I didn't get any damage from that, so I would imagine he probably fixed his track again or the other already missed. Uh, T10 is my next target of priority. And you'll notice my team has started to push down. Now that's not good for me because that generally means he's going to back off and go around the corner where I cannot touch him. And that's exactly what he does. It's unfortunate, but it does happen. So you'll see I stay a little bit longer than I should have here trying to hit these guys. Um, by this point, our team has absolutely slaughtered these guys. And then we get a shot out uh, or get a look at a uh, medium tank on the bridge. It's a Lorraine 40 ton. Hello, gorgeous. Shot out. Pow! Oh, no! We missed him! We missed him! Oh, it's so, so unfortunate. But, it happens. Lorraine's gonna push out on the mouse. Can he get around him? Mouse gets a little bit of a bump into him, and you can see even that small scrape took damage off of that, uh, 40 ton. So, uh, not, a mouse, definitely not something you want to run into. Shot out. A little slow. Yep, just just a little too slow on that shot. And then somebody tags him. Can the mouse get the shot? 
Yep, it looks like he can. There we go. There for a second I thought I was going to have an interesting uh, time on my hands with a 40 ton uh, Lorraine coming at me. But, last two tanks alive, E100, T10, both damaged, both down at the end, and lots of tanks around them, so the likelihood of me getting there is slim and none. But we did okay. We, we got a lot of damage on that Leopard at the beginning. We did some damage uh, throughout the game. Not a lot, but, you know, consistent damage to put us right around what we need to keep pushing towards that third mark. We're still climbing, guys. We're at 86% right now, so we're, we're still climbing. 9% to go, 4,100 damage, one kill, fourth on the leaderboard, not bad. Um, and this is where everybody starts saying, hey, don't I know you, Spartan, from YouTube? I'm like, yep, that's me, 100%. Nice to meet you guys. I'm, I'm glad you guys like what I'm doing. And, and that's what I, I say to everybody. I really, really like hearing from you guys. So if you see me, send me a message. Say, hey, man, good game, or hey, man. You suck, or you know, whatever you want to say. But send me a message. Anyway, this match we're on Sand River, and guess who just happens to be on the other team? Dark Saint, a community member, and the one who's always calling me out on the channel saying when he sees me, he's gonna kill me. So I don't notice he's in the game yet. But I will in a moment. You know how I will? Wait for it. Bing! Dark Saint 2331 sends me a message. Now, I don't check messages in the middle of a game, but what I will do is when somebody sends me a message and it just happens to be right at the start of the game, I'll give the, uh, give the old teams a once over and see if they're on the other side. Sure enough, Dark Saint was on the other side. He is in an arty, I believe it's the 212 Tier 9 Russian Artillery. It's the last, or well, not the last, but he's, he's trying to get the last Tier 10 arty he needs. And the Russian Object 261 is it. So, right off the bat, I'm going to try to counter-battery him. Because why? Because I know he's going to try to counter-battery me. So, you know, a little waiting game happens. And I take a little bit longer than I need to to start shooting at people. But, you know me. I'm looking at the normal hotspot. I'm paying attention to the hill that's above my reticle and the dip that's below my reticle. That way I can see both. If somebody fires, I'll be able to shoot them. But then I get impatient and I start engaging targets. And it doesn't take long for the first paddling to show up. So get ready. Unfortunately, I happen to look away because every time I fire in this game, while he's still alive, I'm um, moving, I'm, I'm relocating after every shot. All right, so we've got Leopard, we've got Patton, and we've got an object, right? Am I right? Am I right? STB1, okay. And STB1 is broadside on, so shot out. Pow! <laughs> All of his health to nothing in the blink of an eye. That was a paddling. Sorry you guys couldn't see it, but I did have to relocate after the shot. So right again, we've got the leopard, we've got the patent left. The other already's trying to hit them as well, but he stayed down in the base. I don't stay in the base on this map uh, when I spawn in the the north because people tend to rush straight through the uh, mountains anymore. Shot out. And we get a shot and we hit him for 361. Not a big hit, but, you know, definitely something to keep him honest. And as you can see, relocating, making sure nobody's shooting at me. He wasn't. Probably wasn't looking for me. He kills the FE3805, which is a nice shot, if I'm honest. But it's not me. <laughs> and that's what matters. Shot out. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Leopard. And shot out. And that daggum sand dune is just tearing my shots up. So close to being able to hit him. But unfortunate. But at least I've got some damage in the bank. And I'm going to get some more before the end of it. So what do we got? Come on, Leopard. Somebody make yourself available. And shot out behind him. And this time it overshoots and hits almost where I aim. Come on. I can't win for losing on that sand dune. I'm lucky I hit that freaking uh, STB the first time or STA, whatever it was. Um, every time I try to shoot people on that sand dune, the round just catches the top of the sand dune every time. 
It's so annoying. E75, however, is not protected by a sand dune so much. So, guess what? Shot out. Now, he does back up, but he stops. So we do get some splash damage on him, 170. Not a big hit. Just enough to let him know you can't sit there. Uh, our guys have won the right, and now they're pushing. Which is good. But then everybody's coming to our base, so then I'm like, uh, guys, over here, <laughs> I ping the map, and then I'm trying to find defend the base. And there we go, defend the base. I don't normally use rotary commands too much because they get annoying and it's hard to do while you're in battle. But sometimes you just got to do it. Oh, E75 has made himself available again, but so has the Waffentrager. And shot out on the E75. Pow. Now, I don't know how much I hit him for. Probably not a lot, if I'm honest. But, you know, again, consistent damage. Just trying to get shots off on people. Letting them know they can't sit there. And the E75 is now dead. Now we move up away from our corner so that we can assist with the base and the uh, guys out in the field a little bit easier. Um, we're about to have a little bit of a butt pucker moment after we shoot this IS-3. I mean, get a shot off towards the IS-3 and hope it hits, right? And... Shot out. Pow! 397. Second kill of the game. And we're backing off. Now here comes the light tank and I'm like, please God, don't come over to hill. Don't come over to hill. Don't you do it. I'm not loaded yet. And he backs off. Don't come over to hill. Object 704 in front of us is going a little crazy. <laughs> Chasing him down the hill. And the whizzy decides to ram him. Or no, the tortoise helps him and shoots him before he rams him. That's what happened. Okay, well then we've got this IS-3 over in our base. Who decided not to cap the base, but to uh, hug the mountain. So I can't hit him. You see, uh, one of the Arties is over there on the far left, and I'm just going to try to get a shot out on one of these guys. Kenervan dies. IS-7. Come on. IS-7's in a fight. He's a one-shot kill. I don't want to shoot him if they're going to shoot him. And wait for it. Yep, he does shoot him and kill him, so I don't have to worry about it. Then their Artie. It's not Dark Saint. He's dead. Now, I'm looking down in the valley because I'm like, hey, he's got to be around here somewhere, unless he followed his team around the north. Well, there's only two tanks left. One's an IS-3 and one's the Artie. So I'm looking, just waiting for somebody to spot something, and then I'm like, I don't think he's over here. So I'm like, okay, time to relocate. Let's go in. That IS-3 kills our guy. And then the tortoise kills the IS-3. So, the light tank's going through the mountain right now. And so I decide, let's go ahead, relocate, and we'll go on the hunt for him. How much fun would that be, right? You're in an arty, let's go hunting. So I figure he moved with his team around the mountain and is probably down towards the back of our base. Maybe A1, A2-ish. That's why he's not spotted, and that's the best place to be at the moment. But I was partially right. He did move with his team, but he's dead center in the middle of the map. Uh, so, Light Tank gets him spotted, puts a round in him, and then gets shotgunned. And I'm looking right at him. Now get ready. Wait for it. Now we're at a 1.8 second si er, flight time, and we're just like, okay, we know where he's going. He's going up in here, and shot out. And we hit him. Guys, we hit him. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, we just splash him. Probably didn't leave him with much health left, but still. So unfortunate. That would have been an epic way to end this match. But anyway, we know where he's at, so we're going to start moving, trying to get relocated to a point where we'll be able to shoot this guy a lot easier. We've got a heavy tank headed that direction. Reloaded. And we're just trying to wait for him to be lit up. I got no problems charging in there, but the E-100 is likely to see him first. So I figure it's better to just sit sit back and get ready to shoot him. Wait for it. Wait for it. I look ahead of the E-100 up into the mountain, because I figured he went up into the mountain. But he didn't. He actually stayed down in a good spot where I can't actually hit him. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to try. 
So what are we going to do? Well, if you watch my reticle, I'm going to try to get it to where there's at least a slim chance that that round falls in the middle of those two kills. So watch me. Just kind of playing with the reticle. Just a little bit. And right there, there's a chance. Shot out. And it falls just the hair short. Clips the top of the hill. And then we cap the base. But it was a chance. You had to take the shot. Had to try. Didn't do real great. 35.94, two kills. You know, top five, not bad. So if you like what I'm doing, punch that like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.